Hi, I'm Pat Clark with Lifting Gear Hire Corporation, specialist in lifting equipment rentals. With over 40,000 pieces of equipment in stock, we're sure to have the right tool for your next job. Today, we're gonna to be highlighting the air-operated skates. The contents of this video are meant to be for informational purposes only. Please consult the manufacturer's use and care and guidelines before starting. For more information on this product, please dial our 800 number listed below. So we're gonna start with the, uh, the air requirements for these skates. Uh, we're gonna have a minimum requirement of a, a one inch hose on this particular setup. Uh, we'll be illustrating today the 24 inch air skate system manufactured by Airfloat, uh, which each tile will be good for 12,500 pounds. Is a four tile system will be good for 50,000 pounds. Uh, we're gonna recommend to our customer to use no less than a one inch uh, air compressed hose coming in on the, on the air manifold. So we'll attach that here right at the manifold. There'll be a shut off switch. We'll make sure this is engaged in the closed position. The hoses that we supply for the customer come with the system. So including the system as a, a six port manifold, which today we're only gonna utilize four of them. 30 foot hoses, we'll have four of them. They have a quick disconnect. We'll pull the valve back, engage the hose. Put it back in. So to operate this, the system itself on the manifold will have a, a PSI, a pressure regulator, and that's where the whole system will start from. From these manifolds, we can control each one of these individual tiles to regulate the proper, not only PSI, but also the flow. Uh, the heavier the component that we're lifting on one side of it, the more flow that we'll require. So these work Similar to a, a garden hose, the, the more that we're going to open these up, the more flow that you'll have on them. I could show you how to, to connect these as well. The same connector going into the airscape module itself. A quick disconnect. Uh, the tile should be centered under the load. Uh, usually when we're, we're, we're helping customers move in large boilers or chillers, there's usually a framed steel component on here that will help balance it out. Um, so it's not every day that we're we're going to be moving around a 5,000 pound Ford F-150. So we're going to do our best to keep this level and centered under the, the tires. So we'll have Ryan get in the truck here. Ryan's just engaging the brakes so it doesn't roll off. So we're going to put these, we're going to make sure that all of the outlet hoses right now are shut off. The pressure regulator is off, shut off valve is off. And according to the manufacturer's instructions, we want to open up the valve. Start with opening up each valve one half of a turn. While the pressure regulator is still in the off position, we're going to engage the air. And using the pressure regulator itself as your master control, we're going to slowly increase some of the air and the pressure to the system itself. You'll see the individual tiles rise. It will have an effective lifting height of maximum of three quarter inches. And this particular system is designed to have a max operating pressure of 50 PSI. Uh, we'll probably be about 40 PSI today. And we can go ahead and test to see if this will actually move. So I'm moving, you can see I'm moving 5,000 pounds with one hand. I'm that strong. <laughs> it's pretty easy to push even with just one hand. So the idea behind this system is it, it creates a frictionless surface by which we can move components around such as chillers, boilers, and other heavy units. The advantage I'd have over a, a traditional mechanical skate is I've got 360 degrees of rotation, as you can see. So I'm not a big guy, but again, this is pretty effortless. So it allows you to cut down also on the amount of manpower that you would be required normally to move in a vessel, again, when you're comparing it to traditional machine-operated skates. The old method would require, if you're moving this along a, a path where you'd have some, some turns, when you come upon a turn, you have to stop, jack up, turn the skate, and do it all over again. 
which can be a tremendous time waster. Whereas this, with it being 360 degrees of rotation, you can turn it without missing a beat. In addition to that, versus old mechanical skates, if you're going over in an area that had some dips, a lot of folks can relate that you would lose, end up losing one of those mechanical skates, whereas the air bladder under here will actually conform to that dip, allow you to keep motoring along. So lifting, you're currently in stock. We have systems that allow you to lift anywhere from 20,000 pounds all the way up to 500,000 pounds. This particular setup, as I said before, is good for 12,500 pounds per tile, total of 50,000 pounds. The system requirements for this is 50, 50 PSI. We're gonna be probably using in the area of about 60 CFM, which is amazing because generally you'd have to have a large air compressor and operate a system or a pneumatic piece of equipment like this, but with this particular air requirements, they're, they're so low that you can use most plant air. Uh, at best or at worst, you'd have to have a small tow behind compressor. One of the key components of, of utilizing an air skate system really starts with the floor preparation. Now this is an ideal floor. It's, it's smooth, it's polished, uh, it has very little uh, expansion joints in there. It's completely level. So if you look down here at this expansion joint, I've actually taken the time to prepare it. All we've done is use a leveling sand, pack it in there as if it was a grout, level it out, and then run a, a thin gauge metal tape over it. Uh, on these systems, you're not allowed, you can't use, they're not engineered for duct tape because the adhesive is in there. Um, but our manufacturer's specifications will show a, a thin gauge tape like this, a three millimeter tape. But once this is down, it creates a, a pretty even surface and, and it, also, it also takes away from the, the air from escaping. Um, the systems think about is an air hockey table. So with a puck, it's, it's, it's gliding on a thin layer of air. That's the same concept here physically. So the less amount of air that escapes, the better for us. So we're creating a, a seamless surface here uh, and allow, again, allowing you to ride over these expansion joints. These particular bladders on the airflow, that's the manufacturer we're using currently. Uh, underneath the, the bladder, if you're turned upside down, it has multiple holes throughout the bladder, which actually allows it to be more forgiving than maybe some other air skates that are on the market today. Um, so if you did miss perhaps a taping or, or filling an expansion joint, it would probably move over a lot easier. Thank you for watching our video. As a reminder, the contents of this video were for informational purposes only. Please consult the manufacturer's guidelines and use and care instructions before beginning. For more information on this product and other products that we rent, please contact Lifting Gear Hire.